and hello again. This is going to be the last clip that we look at in the remove module for the time being. Uh, so let's start this. We're going to go into our advanced remove seagull remove clean plate. Frame range 0 to 95. I need my frame offset here to be at 0. Uh, this is going to be really important for this particular clip. Um, simply because of naming conventions that were used further down the line. And I'll uh, talk about those in a moment. Uh, yep, so frame rate 25 frames a second, pixel aspect ratio HD, no fields. Okay. Okay, so let's take a, uh, a look at the shot. All right, so what is it we want to remove? Well, we're going to take away the seagull here and give us uh, some better views out into the distance. Now, of course, this is nowhere near as simple as it might first seem, um, even though it doesn't seem particularly simple to begin with. Uh, so let's um, let's start and, and try and break this down. So the first thing we need is our background that we're going to replace. And of course, what we're going to add is some more sky. So let's try and find a good place to track the sky. I'm going to just take this around about around about here. And let's just add a couple of points to that actually while I think about it. There we go, just to give us a nice bit of data. Uh, luminance, not so much. I'm going to try auto channel here to see if one of the color channels can um, give us a better, better result. Uh, motion, that's just going to be translation scale and rotation. Large motion, yes. Everything else set to normal. So let's just give this a name. Sky track. Now uh, let's remember we always start at the back and work our way forwards. So let's create a new layer here and let's look at our shot again. Well, you can tell this railing is going to be an issue. So let's track the railing. We'll find a good area there to be able to track the railing. And for the uh, pre-processing yet, yeah, luminance, 90% fine. Shear, I'm going to leave turned on because there is a little bit of uh, perspective stuff going on in there. So we're going to leave shear turned on. Large motion, yes. So railings track. And now let's come to our, our star here, which is going to be the seagull. Now, we are going to want to take away the seagull and it's a reflection here but uh, remember this is all about the track to begin with not about the shape so let's just get a good shape to track first and then we can worry about the rest of it later let's get rid of those there we go cool and this uh, will leave this is the default stuff as well. Seagull track. Of course, cool, so I've got my, um, let's have a look at all the mats. So I've got my three different mats there. Let's give all these some nice new colors. Okay, and let's just uh, track that forwards. And I'm just going to stop it there. You can um, track the rest of the shot yourself, but this should be uh, good enough for our purposes. All right, so what do we want to do now? Well, 